until last year, really we did not have much to treat our patients with non-metastatic castor-resistant prostate cancer. This is a stage, this is a phase of prostate cancer, which is characterized by rising PSA level. And we know patients are heading towards onset of metastatic disease within a year or so. But really, we did not have much. All we were using was were old generation androgen receptor inhibitors, which are nonspecific. And all of these changed in last one year, has changed in last one year. So we started seeing the results of multiple large clinical trials utilizing a next generation androgen receptor, direct androgen receptor inhibitor, who are very specific, and they stop the androgen receptors from from driving the prostate cancer. And these drugs include enzalutamide, apalutamide, and most recently, daralutamide. All these three trials, which were all registration trials, had more than 1,000 patients in each trial. So one trial had 1,200 patients, one tri other trial has 1,400 patients. Daralutamide trial had 1,500 patients. And what we really saw was dramatic. In these trials, these new drugs, or novel drugs, were compared with standard, there was nothing standard, so they were compared with placebo. And the primary endpoint for these trials was, was metastasis-free survival. The stage which is painful, which is, which is the cause of death and suffering in our patients. So the primary endpoint was metastasis-free survival, meaning how long how much was the difference in the onset of metastatic castor resistant prostate cancer? And as I said, there was a dramatic improvement or delaying of onset of metastasis compared to placebo, which was associated with a 16 month metastasis free survival. The, the patients who got enzalutamide, apalutamide, or daralutamide, there was almost two year delay in the onset of metastasis. So that was something which was profoundly affected. Even other uh, endpoints, such as how much delay happened with the, on, with the utilization of chemotherapy, for example. As I you know, have mentioned, chemotherapy is not something our patients want to have. So another very pertinent endpoint was how much was the delay in chemotherapy. And that was also very significantly delayed by almost two years by these three drugs. So again, very similar uh, outcomes in, with these three agents. Uh, patients who went on this trial, they had a rapidly rising PSA level. So even though, and I really want to point this out, uh, that even though inclusion criteria for trials with enzalutamide, the PROSPER trial, trial with apalutamide, a Spartan trial, and trial with daralutamide, the Aramis trial, the inclusion criteria was a PSA doubling time of less than 10 months. But in reality, it was around four months. So these patients had rapid PSA doubling time, and they were heading rapidly towards onset of metastasis, the painful state of prostate cancer. And there was a very significant, very meaningful, almost two-year delay in the onset of metastasis. So given these results, Apalutamide and enzalutamide have already been approved for treatment of these patients, our patients who have non-metastatic castor-resistant prostate cancer. And based on the solid, meaningful, and very dramatic improvement in metastasis-free survival, I do not have any doubts that we will have daralutamide available in our clinic very soon.